Now next we move into the guitar solo and here I'm going to play it and then break it down. But first, here's the solo to Little Wing played in roll speed. Now for the guitar solo here, I have broken it down into six parts. In part one, we begin by placing our ring finger here on the 15th fret of our B string. It might also help you to place your middle finger on the 14th fret of your B and your pointer finger on the 13th fret of your B as well. I'm using my pointer finger and my middle finger to help me push my ring finger up the neck. So the note that we are going to be playing here first in the first part of the solo is we're going to be picking the B string 15th fret and after we've picked it you're going to bend that note up a full step and once you've bent it up you will then play a vibrato there at the top of your bend so you're going to continue to press down firmly and push that note up and down the neck of the guitar creating a vibrato so that's going to sound like this to begin part one and then after you've done that what we're going to do next is you're going to let go of that note we're going to once again pick the 15th fret of our B and we're going to just bend it up a full step this time. That will sound like this. So, so far here in part one we have this played slow. So that's what we've got so far. What you're going to do after that is you're then going to pick the 15th fret of your B string one time. Then you're going to place your pointer finger on the 12th fret of your B and you're going to pick that one time. So far all together here in part one we have this played slow. Then after we've played the 12th fret of our B, you're then going to pick the 12th fret of your B string and you're, then you're going to hammer on with your ring finger to the 15th fret of your B that will sound like this. So far, all together here in part one, we have this played slow. After you've hammered on to the 15th fret of your B string, which was the last thing I did, you will then pick your ring finger up off the board. We're then going to pick the 12th fret of our B where our pointer finger is here. And after you've picked it, you're going to play a vibrato, so you'll push that note up and down the neck of the guitar. It will sound like this. We have this so far in part one played slow. And then after that what you're going to do is you're going to, what we're going to do next is this, you're going to place your ring finger on the 15th fret of your B. And what you want to do is you want to push the note up a full step first before we pick any notes. And what this is is a pre-bend. So we've taken the 15th fret of our B, we've bent that string up, that note up a full step. What you're going to do is you're going to pick it and then you're going to continue to press down firmly. You're going to bring the note back down to its original spot. So that'll sound like this. So, so far all together here in part one we have this played slow. Now after you've picked the 15th fret, of the 15th fret of the B string and brought the note back down, you will then place your pointer finger on the 12th fret of your G string and you're going to pick that note and then play a vibrato. So, so far here in part one we have this played slow.
Now following that, what we're going to do is you're going to place your ring finger on the 14th fret of your G. Uh, once again, place your middle finger right behind it on the 13th fret. And place your pointer finger behind your middle finger on the 12th fret of your G. Once again, we're using our middle finger and our pointer finger to help us push our ring finger up the neck. So I've got those three fingers there. And then you also want to take your pinky and you want to place it on the 15th fret of your B string. Okay, so those are, those are where my, my fretting hand, that's the position I have taken here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the G string 14th fret where my ring finger is. I'm going to push it up a full step. Once I get it up a full step, I'm then going to pick the 15th fret of the B string where my pinky is. So that will sound like this. And then after that, what you're going to do is you're going to once again pick the 14th fret of your G and you're going to bend it up a full step once again. And then after that, you're going to just pick the 14th fret of your G. So all together here in part one, we have this played slow. And then next what you're going to do is you're going to once again pick the 14th fret of your G and this time after you've picked it you're going to slide up quickly two frets to the 16th fret of your G string. So that's going to sound like this. So so far all together here in part one we have this played slow. Now after you've slid up to the 16th fret of your G, you're then going to move your ring finger back down to the 14th fret of your G. You're going to pick that note one time. Then place your pointer finger on the 12th fret of your G and pick that note one time. So far here in part one we have this played slow. And then after that, you're going to place your ring finger back onto the 14th fret of your G. Once again, reinforce that note with your middle finger and your pointer finger. What we're going to do is this. You're going to pick the 14th fret of your G one time. And after you've picked it, this is what you're going to do. Say I just picked that note, I'm going to bend it up a full step. Continue to press down firmly, bring it back down. And then I'm going to bend it back up once again. So that's going to sound like this, played slow. Okay, so that's what's happening there. All together here in part one, we have this played slow. Okay, so that's what we've had so far. The last thing that we did was this. We picked the 14th fret of our G, we bent it up, brought it back down and bent it up again. And what we're gonna do is whenever that bend, whenever we bent it back up that last time, you're then going to pick that note and bring it back down. So it'll sound like this. Okay, so that's what's happening there. To play everything we have so far will sound like this. So that's what we've got so far. We picked the note, we brought it back down. And after we have done that, you're then going to play the 12th fret of your G one time. And then you're going to place your ring finger on the 14th fret of your D string. You're going to pick that note and play a vibrato here to end part one. <laughs> 